Today, we're going to be talking about negative energy and how does it work when we absorb energy from people and things around us. Hello, beautiful soul. Welcome to my channel. My name is Maria. And today we're going to be talking about negative energy. So if this is your first time here and you're interested in improving your health and growing your spirituality, remember to go to the subscribe button below so you will always get notifications whenever I post a new video here in my channel. So let's talk a little bit about negative energy. So negative energy is that feeling that makes us feel heavy, makes us feel literally negative make you feel low it's a very dense energy very heavy energy and you feel it strong in yourself it can block you from many things the more negative energy you have the more blocked you become the more things start to fall out you start to lose control in your life this is all caused by heavy energy by negative energy so how can you absorb this energy well first i want to talk to you actually about the responsibility that we have when we talk about energy we need to take responsibility for ourselves we cannot be blaming people and situations all the time and saying well i'm feeling this way because of him because of her because of this place because of this situation wait calm down <laughs> We absorb negative energy, yes, that's true, but you are responsible for that. You have to take responsibility for yourself. If you're an empath, if you absorb negative energy easier than usual, you have to have responsibility for shielding yourself and for also clearing yourself constantly. Otherwise, you'll be just topping up with negative energy on top of you and you will reach a point that you're gonna be completely full of heaviness so remember my dear that it is our own responsibility to take care of ourselves it is very easy to absorb energy it is very easy to get this connection these strings of energy with people but we are, res are responsible for either keeping them or clearing them shielding us so we avoid from absorbing it or not so you need to understand this don't blame people don't blame situations don't blame anyone this happens to all of us constantly but you need to understand that if you feel that you have negative energy you need to clear it it is your responsibility to get rid of this no one else so remember that okay so let's talk now about how you can actually absorb negative energy. How do you know if you absorbed negative energy from people and situations? First, there are many people that are empaths. And empaths are people that absorb energy very easily. They feel energy very easily. If you're not an empath, even though you still absorb energy, what happens is that every single person that cross our life throughout the day, throughout your life, everyone that crossed your way, that you just saw it, that you just directed your, your eyes to, you create straight away a string of energy with this person. So every single person that crossed your day will have a connection, an energetic connection with you. Now imagine, if that person is going through something difficult, if they're sick or someone in their family is sick, if they just uh, had someone who passed away in their life, if they had a break, if they break up, if they had a breakup of a relationship, if they're sad, if they're depressed, you also share a little bit of this energy. And if you don't clear it, it's gonna be heavy. So how do you know you absorbed it? You will get home and you will feel exhausted. 
you will get home and suddenly you will feel sad. You will feel suddenly uh, without energy. You will feel suddenly uh, very stressed with your, with your nerves, you know, just ready to explode. Anything will take you out of balance. Anything will make you mad, will make you angry. You will be very, very stressed. You will be very negative also. And you can feel it. Sometimes, of course, this is something from yourself. But it can be a mix of things, of your own negative energies with someone else's negative energies. But how do you know that you have negative energy? It's just by monitoring yourself, monitoring your mind. If you always see things in a negative way, if you're constantly thinking that things are not going to go right, things are always wrong with you, people blaming people all the time, completely stressed, like I said, sad, out of the blue, suddenly you feel very sad, you feel depressed, you don't want to leave home. This is all caused by negative energy, by absorbing, especially, especially if you feel this way in the end of your day, after you've done everything, after you get home. In the, in the beginning of the day, you woke up fresh, you woke, you woke up happy, you woke up very uh, light. In the end of the day, you're completely exhausted. You're stressed, you don't want to talk, you don't want to see anyone. If someone says something very small, you make a big deal out of it. This is all stuck energy from other people that you yourself are carrying. So remember, my dear, it's important to clear, okay? It is your responsibility. You need to be aware of this. You need to be aware that you are creating, you are sharing energy. And it is also very, you have to be very responsible in this regard. Because if you, if you are negative, you're also sending negative, negative energy to other people because you are connected with them as well. So pay attention to these signs. Pay attention to the way you feel, to the way you see things, to the way you think about yourself or about people. If you lose your mind, very easily it means you're care you're carrying lots of negative energy so we need to be very responsible in regards to this trying to keep our energy as much lighter as we can because this way you spread light and this way if you absorb it you can easily clear it remember remember to shield your energy Remember to ground your energy. Grounding is also very important because grounding is a way of keeping you in balance and it is a way to also clearing you. So if you want to learn actually how to shield, how to clear your energy, how to ground your energy, let me know in the comments below and I will make a video for you specifically about this. But remember, my dear, constant. Remember, have this image in your mind when you get home of how much energy you actually uh, you actually got through your day okay think about people think about what they're going through because you're sharing this with them of course we also share positive energy that's why sometimes when we get close to some people we feel so happy out of nowhere we don't know why but that person has something that makes us feel so good that's because that person is full of light and you are sharing energy with that person so you also you're also touched by it and it's the same with negative energy sometimes you're feeling good but you get close to someone who's very negative and you also feel negative you also feel this knots you know on your stomach on your on your solar plexus chakra and your heart they get you know shrinked because of the negative energy also, this is also very, very, very common if you go to places where there's lots of people, okay? Supermarkets or these big events. Imagine how many people are there and how many people are, are connecting with you energetically. Okay, so if you go to these places, keep monitoring yourself. If you're feeling low, it can happen straight away. You can feel suddenly this change 
within you. Okay, clear it, let go, release. Call upon Archangel Michael, he can help you also. Okay, but remember that it is your responsibility. Don't blame anyone. Don't blame any situation, okay? Because this is normal. This is something that happens to all of us constantly, every day, okay? But just keep monitoring yourself. If you get home and you feel that you're feeling something that is not yours, you have no reason to be feeling that way, it is because it really isn't yours. You really absorbed it from somewhere else. Remember also, I just remembered, remember also when you buy something new, clothing, shoes, anything for your home, clear it, okay? This also carries the energy of everybody who touched that object, okay? Clear it. I made a video about how to clear energy at home, okay? So if you want, I will leave the link in the description. Watch that video, clear the energy also, okay? Release it. Don't carry energy from anyone else it is not meant to be like this we already have our own issues we already we already deal with our own problems with our own dark side with our own negativity so we don't need more we don't need to share it we don't need to carry even more so it's a constant work my dear you need to be aware of this it's a constant practice of shielding clearing and just releasing energy okay be aware of this and you will see that you will feel much lighter, you will feel happier, you will feel more connected with yourself. And let me know in the comments below how you have been dealing with negative energy around you, how you've been feeling it, how do you recognize that you absorbed something and how do you work with this energy? Let me know in the comments below and let me know also if this video helped you to actually be a little bit more aware of how this works, okay, my dear? I'm always, always very happy to receive your comments. I'm always very um, eager to, to connect with you and to know this just shows me that we are connected, that you are connected and watching the video and we are all connected as one. So comment below, okay? I will be waiting for your reply. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you very soon again. Take, take very good care of yourself. Okay, of your energy, be aware of your own energy, be responsible for your own energy, and I'll see you soon again. Namaste.